In vino venous ECMO, the oxygenated blood is drained from the venous system, oxygenated by an extracorporeal membrane lung, and subsequently returned to the venous system. Suppose worsening hypoxia occurs in a previously stable veno venous extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, ECMO. Then, we should suspect recirculation complications. Recirculation only occurs when oxygenated blood from the circuit is inadvertently routed away from the right atrium's tricuspid valve back to the inferior vena cava. The blood then re-enters the circuit's venous limb, bypassing the native systemic circulation pathway. This anomaly leads to a reduction of efficient gas exchange or VQ mismatch. The classic signs of recirculation are low SAO2, arterial oxygen saturation, and high SPRIO2, pre-oxygenator saturation, high SV02, venous oxygen saturation. Here are some factors affecting the extent of recirculation. Cannula size, configuration, and positioning. Pump speed, cannula size, and extracorporeal blood flow. Changes in intrathoracic, intracardiac, and intraabdominal pressures such as effusions, plural and or pericardial, hemo or pneumothoraces, abdominal distension, etc. The configured direction of the ECMO circuit's blood flow. Please refer to your clinical instructor for discussion.